All right, now this is not an unboxing. This is not a first look for me or any of that crazy nonsense. It's just a, why the hell did I buy a the newer version of Fatal Alliances when you have this version? So this is um, my original version. I got it from the same guy, actually. I just got uh, a bunch of the Great War at Sea um, expansions or, at, you know, later ons. Um, he's a local seller. He had Fatal Alliances, but not with a box. It was that, you know, the the ziploc version that I, uh, that I had. They even said, like, warning, this is not a... Oh, here it is. Warning, this is not a complete game, and so on and so forth, and whatever. Um, so, I, you know, I went to the dollar store, used the Christmas... They're great. Those uh, holiday Christmas boxes are freaking awesome for a uh, game. Uh, you know, whatever's. Uh, so, I have the original. It's sitting here. You can even see I've got, like, the... He's done all the whatevers. Oh my gosh, I never noticed. I, I should have... <laughs> oh my god, maybe I should have like clued in and taken a better look. But, um, well, obviously I didn't. Um, I've been going over the rules, you know, over the past whatever months. Ooh, just found a counter that slipped off. It's interesting that uh, I find actually the, new, the older map um, much... Much, much if they're the if the hexes are the same size and there's nothing changed I may actually go with the old map um, I'll have to take a look I'll be honest with you because I find the older map um, I don't think it may have the well we'll see it in a minute but uh, I actually I think I prefer the older map I'm not kidding you oh yeah oh. <laughs> Like, uh, head over heels way better. For me. Like, you may say, Chris, you're a freak. Um, what the hell is this? Oh, I guess a close-up version of, uh, maybe if you're doing the Western Front or whatever. Um, or I, I don't know yet. Um, holy shoot, this is the whole thing. I didn't realize it's also the back. So I probably won't be able to do it. I'm sure the counters will be too big. Um, darn it. Well, or maybe I can uh, we'll figure out something. Hmm, because I really, really, I'm sorry, um, me, just visually, you may think, Chris, you're out, out to lunch, but, um, like, I'm so much more enjoying the old map over the, uh, the new one. I just find the new one way too, I'm um, having a hard time, which I know you're going to say, uh, and you're, you're Mr. Dervelkrieg map. Yeah, I know. So maybe I will get used to it and, you know, pull it. But I, I, to be honest with you, I'm not really, um, I'd like to play this. I was even talking to a few people saying that I'm not sure if I had found out about Fatal Al It does. I don't know. Because I don't know how it happened that I, like, became so into whatever. Um, would Fatal Alliances, if I had seen Fatal Alliances before um, Dervelkrieg, would I have gone down, you know, down the Dervelkrieg rabbit hole, I don't know, and, and morph it the way I do, I don't know. I will say this, I'm glad I didn't go that way, because I think I probably would not have morphed Dervel, uh, uh, Fatal Alliances as much as I have uh, uh, played around with Dervelkrieg and made it my own. I don't think I would have, I'll be honest with you. And I don't even want to dare even think about, so I... Let's not even go down that road anymore. So I've been using these rules. I've been going over them and over them and over them. And I'm just like, oh my God, you're giving me so many ideas. And I remember uh, Ken um, uh, got, uh, picked up this game and he was like, I hate the mountains. I agree with you. They suck a hind tit. They're god awful. I, I don't understand what the person was thinking. I'd love to t talk to the person because they, they kind of doubled down with the compass version. Um, but hey, man, it's not my game. It's their game. They can, you know, I mean, like I said, I used to stare at the Dervelkrieg maps going, no, I'm not playing this game. This is ridiculous. I actually remember the very first time the, um, like, I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. And um, it showed up. Just the introductory module. And I went, are you out of, no, I'm not playing that thing. Uh, but I did, <laughs> look what's happened. 
the counters are great. I, I'm going to say this. Everything but the funky, crazy... Um, I just think there's, it's too much. Relax, man. Especially with a, a strategic... Look, man. This is a strategic game, supposedly. Why the hell do I see, like, I can't remember what they, you guys call this. Uh, I see it all the time in the, in the D-Day stuff. Um, oh, shoots. Um, it's a certain type of terrain, and I didn't understand what it meant. Like, little, little towns and little hedge areas and, oh, darn. Uh, the DDA quad has has it every five. Uh, probably eventually it'll pop up in my head. But the counter, look, I said I'm not doing it. Uh, whatever. But it looks good. I took a look at a quickie bits of the counters. Um, oh boy! Look, oh yay! Some flags. I can use those things maybe. Um, it's primarily the rules. I really want to start. Um, it, uh, and I felt a bit weird because I also picked up the. Um, or I printed off the compass version. I was like, well, you don't really own the compass version type of thing. Like you're kind of cheating or whatever. Um, and I don't have all the, these fascinating, like I said, I've got one of them. I should have maybe taken a better look, but it's these fascinating charts. And there's so many things I wanted to, like, I'm sorry, I want to pilfer and uh, enter into my uh, thing and see that, okay, this makes sense. That doesn't make sense and so on and so forth. That's what I'm doing with it. The first thing I saw when I opened the box were D10s. And I went, oh boy, that's a good sign. When I see some, someone or something deciding to go, I'm sorry, it's not, you know, pardon the pun, but outside the box, um, using D10s, you know, rather than D6s, I'm like, yes. Uh, um, yeah, I'm sorry, this map for a strategic map, Strategic here, man. Mm -mm. No, sorry. Not my cup of tea. No, 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 no. No. That's an F. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's going to take me a little But remember, like I said, uh, I used to say that with Dravel Creek all the flipping time. I was like, you've got, like, no, that's a no go. I put the bot, like, the Ziploc thing away and whatever. And now I've, I, I don't even understand why people, I have to remind myself I used to be like that of, you know, yep, the map is god awful. It's the most disgusting thing you'll ever see in your life. But these mountains, what in the world is going on there? I, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Huh. I've tried to figure out, like, are they trying to, like, almost do, like, some kind of, like, yes, tectonic movement is occurring here. Can you not see the map? I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting. Holy moly. But anyway, like, I you know, I shouldn't go off on... Well, I am going off on that. Um, so, yeah, I want to go over the rules. I'm really... It's weird. I've seen this. I've stared at this and wanted to buy this so many flippin' times. It's not funny. Um, I've got the original Death in the Trenches, so I'm good there. I'm um, about to get hopefully Total or Krieg uh, from the Grog Shed. We've got to do some funky um, uh, little trade there with my, some of my World War II games. And I'll give up something sweet for him. So, you know, no worries there, dude. Um, I think he was staring at my Cobra game. What do you think, Mr. Grog Shed? You can get Cobra. Which is, a, what, an extension of the DDA thing or something? Um, here, let's pop on, pop on. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't want to go into this, but I am. It, this is a game I was like, it, uh, I'm still stunned to this day. I know that, um, for example, I think I was asking Clark Commando 1983, get your arse, uh, you know, out, and, or get this on the table, man. Like, no one, not a single human being has done a playthrough anything with this. It doesn't seem crazy, Bill. Like, come on, man. Isn't it D-Day land pretty soon? Like, uh, June 6th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Wardrobe plays uh, World War II is about to do a bunch of stuff with that. So, come on. Look at this. This is all there is. Not a big deal. Come on, man. Somebody, you know, please. 
my god. Jerry Lewis, uh, Hexagon Telethon. Please play this game. The next whatever. Oh my god, we just got another, you know, contribution. Someone's playing that game. Anyways, okay, I'm getting silly. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go off and do whatever. Yeah, so I'm pretty darn happy I picked this up. Um, due to the fact that I want to really, like, try to, like I said, pilfer the living dickens out of the rules. What else can I tell you that's been happening? Oh, I didn't bring it upstairs. Or did I? No. Oh, my God. I was listening to a po video, a little uh, podcasty thing or whatever on YouTube. Um about the Brusilov Offensive, and he called it the whatever of an army, but I think he, he meant it towards the Austro-Hungarians. And here I am reading um, Death in the Carpathians, you know, and it's primarily about uh, trying to give you a whole history of, you know, the lead up to the Brusilov Offensive and whatnot, and I was like, holy shit. Um, they connect, and I'm reading that also, you know, due to the fact for the Paul Hederer interview coming up there with the 1916 Prelude to Blitzkrieg, and um, and then next year the Russian Empire is going to collapse, and I was like, holy f, like, what? Uh, if the Bruce Seelov offensive did not occur and they held a defensive posture. Gosh, there's so much to learn. Uh, would um, the, you know, would the Russian Empire have lasted a little bit longer? You know, the irony is, is that the reason why they supposedly had to uh, do, well, the Brusilov Offensive was his idea, but I mean, they had to do something. Uh, due to the fact the French are like, oh, by the way, you have to do something. Remember, we had these con uh, conferences of like, we're going to do joint uh, offensives when somebody's attacked, a.k.a. Verdun. Uh, you have to do something. Um, <laughs> the irony is, is that the, per uh, the, the, the faction that was actually pushing that twice were the Russians because they were getting their arses kicked earlier on. And now that, you know, the French are getting their arses kicked, they're like, um, you do remember you were the ones, remember, please fact check, but they were like, uh, you do remember you were the ones that were like, um, insisting during our conferences that this was going to be something to do. And now we're calling you on it. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? Eh? It's just like, you better watch what you ask for, man. Um, well, obviously helped them out at the beginning, but woof. Well, let's be honest, help out regardless, uh, the Allies. Uh, but I will say this in the end, no one wins. No one flippin' wins, man. I think if I was going to design a grand uh, strategy thing, majig or whatever, like, you know, they talk about people um, saying that uh, you design a game that you want to, teach not play I was like yeah I'd, I'd probably want to teach somehow that um, regardless oh I've got more forces I got the more victory points I still lose uh, I think that's the um, the magic of World War one game uh, board gaming or war gaming if you want to do it that way you know fatal alliances there you go <sighs> yep I'll try to go and do a, a video about my ferns which are just um, they're at the point of um, this two-tone green. I don't know if you know what I mean. Uh, well, hopefully you do know what I mean. Uh, they're at the height of their, they're at their peak um, of vitality. Um, so there's the new green coming in, the, you know, the green that's going to stick around for a while. But you see that explosion of, oh, I'm just growing, growing, growing green, you know. Anyways, um... Yep. Uh, I'm look. I'm do like this is all going. You know what the hell I'm doing? Uh, it's um, okay. On the final bits. It feels right now not just a um, like I'm playing around like changing the gears on the cassette. You know uh, the rear gears. Uh, um, there's a 
uh, I'm changing the change ring. Uh, the new bikes don't have that, but I'm, like I'm still in old land. Um, I so though, oh my F. I love the idea of no having no more, f just one chain ring in the front. Jesus H Christ. You know, come on, man. It, I don't want, I don't want to talk about it. I've talked to many people about it. Like whoever fi finally figured out, okay, we'll just have one chain ring and, you know, in the, and then just have a monster cassette in the back. Um, Halle flippin' Louia, you saved, uh, well, I haven't tried them yet, so I don't know what it's like, um, but it just makes way more sense. Um, well, like I said, I haven't tried it yet for maintenance purposes or whatever, but sorry, going off into whatever land. Um, yabba dabba. Now we're going to get into um, the next shift when I go start thinking about... Um, Hammering away at uh, Paula Hederer. Yep, yep, that's what I'm going to do. All right, hope you're having a great old time, man. See ya.